Hello Freethinkers, it's Shano here. Now, I've been criticised in the past for writing forum posts that are too long, so instead of reading a wall of my waffle, you now have the dubious pleasure of listening to me instead, and hopefully being entertained by some of the pictures, which I believe is how you kids like to do things these days. So when I'm not writing long and probably boring forum posts, I work in IT, and one of my jobs is to analyse networks. By networks, I mean social networks, or IT networks, or customer supplier interactions, but basically anything where things talk to other things, and the goal is to try and find ways to improve the network. Whilst I was doing this work, it got me thinking about our own social network here on this forum. How does it compare to more conventional social networks, and what, if anything, can we learn about how we use this place we call home, and could we possibly use it better? But, as ever, I'm getting ahead of myself. This video will aim to answer one simple question. Can you turn what people say in a forum into a picture? So to answer that question, let's have a look at a forum post and see what we can learn. Okay, this is B. Moore's forum post, Imagination versus Knowledge, and it was quite an interesting one to analyse because it should have just had two possible outcomes, people who said imagination and people who said knowledge. Now, it's currently displayed in a way that I think a lot of us would ma imagine a forum post, just a big kind of explosion of ideas. Um, the big blob in the middle is the start, and you've got everything else kind of expanding off that, and no obvious kind of angle to that debate, no obvious sort of outcome or how the debate progressed or whatever. So we'll go ahead and apply some, some sort of sense to that, put some order to that. And um, when we do this, you see something a little bit, a little bit different. And um, what we end up with now is B. Moore's post in the in the middle, his original post, which where he effectively asks the question, imagine which one's more important, imagination or knowledge? And you can see orbiting that, we've got a number of posts where people came in at different times during the forum post with an opinion, and four, five of those actually stimulated further debate where people commented on a second comment so probably the first one the first one that happened was Ludacris's post where where he effectively said um, I think imagination is more important you can see it there and then Chaz responded to that and said no Lucridis you're wrong um, knowledge is more important and then Lucridis engages with with Chaz and you, you get that debate. Zat then responds to the original post and also to the post of Lucridis so you get this you get this kind of little bubble of debate. Kings Chosen and Zat then have a little bit of debate and then you see this kind of XY exchange of ideas between Kings Chosen and Zat where there's only really two people participating. Here we see this big bubble of um, discussion and this is common on a lot of forum posts where you have this this kind of what looks like a circular argument but is actually expansion on the original debate. In this case you see Zat responds to the original post and nobody actually responds to Zat in the first instance. Other people talk about other things but Zat effectively builds this kind of war metaphor where he um, he's talking about Im imagining horrific scenes from, from war and you can see he, he, he doesn't actually, in terms of time, he doesn't actually respond to Zat 3, but in terms of that string of the debate, he perpetuates it. Then Girly Man and Zat um, have an exchange of ideas, and it's in danger of going in the wrong direction, but Ben does an excellent job of effectively commenting on Zat's post, but also referencing the, the, the whole imagination debate, and um, kind of brings the post back on track. Zat responds to Ben, then Girly Man to Zat, Zat to Girly Man, and so on, until we get down to this area, where Lady Jane says something insightful, basically responds to Beemore's original post. Thomas also responds to Beemore's post and references themes from Lady Jane's. Lady Jane then responds to both Zat, his eighth post, and Thomas's post. And then we get to this final string of the debate, which is an exchange of ideas between Zat and Lady Jane. The final, the very final post of um, of this this particular thread actually came from Beemore. So Beemore's second post, 
was the final post in the thread, or has been so far. So Be More starts the debate, opens the debate, and also finishes the debate. Um, those are the only two times that Be More actually comments. So effectively, he opens this huge can of worms, and this this big debate happens, and then he kind of bookends it with another post that says, "Oh, wasn't that interesting?" So. For me, seeing that as a picture, I think is very powerful indeed. I think it, it tells us quite a lot about what happens to a post. We get a lot of people responding to the original post, and typically we'll get two or three strings of debate coming off it. So hopefully you found that quite interesting. Okay, I'll um I'll just wrap things up now and talk about what I plan to do over the next couple of videos, but obviously a lot of this is entirely up to you and what you would like to see. So I've already done some analysis on the bigger picture, on how the forum uh, as an entity almost, and, and how we as members of that forum interact with one another, and where we post, and how we post, and um, who talks to who, and all of those kind of ideas. So I'll be working on a video that kind of highlights all of that stuff as well. But obviously I'm a member of this forum and I, I post just like you guys, so I'm really keen if there are specific threads that you would like to see visualized or if you've got any ideas for analysis of anything that you would like to see presented in a more visual metaphor then please comment on this thread or or send me a message or whatever and I'll happily pull something together because um, I really enjoy doing this stuff so thanks very much for watching cheers